Welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles, where today we are going to be taking a look at the new 10 scale Iron Studios Pennywise. Now this comes from their Art Scale Horror Series, and this is the deluxe version. Inside the box, you will find the figure packed as shown with the base on the back side of the box. Before we assemble Pennywise, let's take an up close look at the individual pieces that we get. Up first is the base, which is very well done. Come back around through here to the back. This is actually made out of a very soft material uh, that lends itself well to mimicking plant. And then underneath is the bottom of the base. But it's got good weight to it. I'd say it's made out of like a polystone. And really, really nice details there. We'll set that aside. Here is the rail for the base. Again, uh, really good texturing here and a really good paint app. It does a, does a good job at mimicking a wood texture. And finally for the base, we've got this little plant that's an add-on. And again, very, very well done. Let's take a look at Pennywise's body. Again, it's got good weight to it. It feels like it's made out of a polystone. And uh, the detailing here is very nice. The sculpt is good. Uh, they've got good weathering on it. Um, and again, although it's made of polystone, they did a good job in mimicking a fabric look to it. Okay. Spin it around for you guys. Get a close shot of the feet. But very well done. The paint app is, is very well done. And they even have some weathering here on the bottom of the feet, which is a nice touch. So let's set this aside. Now let's take a look at the head sculpts. First we have the standard version. Head sculpt is nice. The hair sculpt is nice as well. I'm trying to get a close shot of the face. If I can. The likeness isn't perfect. Um, it's a little bit off if you ask me, especially around here, around the, the jaw. I'm not sure exactly what they got going on here, but it looks a little odd. But it's close, not perfect, but close. Let's take a look at the other head sculpt. Which you find here. Now this one I like more, but again, it's not a perfect likeness. It's it's there, but it's it's off. But the detailing is nice. The teeth are done well. There's it's kind of sculpted in there and then just kind of painted over. We'll kind of flip them back around here. And again, on this one, you know, he's kind of got his hair down a bit. Let's see. But. Overall, it's well done. They kind of get a little bit iffy with the uh, paint app underneath the hair. Now Pennywise comes with three different right arms. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, the balloon holding one, which this is like a, uh, a metal wire. And if we come around through here, again, it's the same quality paint app. 
as well as on the figure's body. I don't really like this that they've added in here, but I feel like it was probably necessary to get the wire in there correctly. It would be nice if it wasn't there though. But overall, it still looks good. I mean, you're not really gonna see it most times, but to me, it's kind of there and stands out. Let's look at the other arms. We have a standard relaxed arm here. There we go. And um, the paint app is a, it's a little bit sloppy here when they did the red on the outfit. but still, still looks the part. And finally, we have the last arm that is holding the hand. And again, this looks well done. Um, I feel like they could have done a little bit better on the blood work here, but that's kind of me just being picky. Especially at this price point, this is a really kick-ass statue. So I know I'm nitpicking some things here and there, but it's it's badass, especially for the price. Even though it's 10 scale, I wish it was larger, but um, it's still really cool. And I'm going to be super stoked to have it in my collection. So let's go ahead and put it together. So we got them together and he assembles very easy. Uh, there's magnets uh, for his arm and his head and for the, the uh, railing here. And then uh, this little plant just kind of fits down into like a little groove. But um, overall height would be about, uh, right about nine and three quarter inches to the top of the balloon. And to the top of Pennywise without the balloon is about it's just under eight and three quarter inches. Now the figure himself is about eight inches tall, which puts him in pretty good scale for the 10 scale uh, because he is a taller character. Um, everything fits nice. I will say though that this, my balloon is hitting on the head or coming pretty close. I had to bend the fingers out a little bit to kind of straighten it up. But um, we'll take a look at this setup and then I'll swap out the other parts and we can kind of take a look at how he looks with all the accessories. Here's an up close shot of the alternate face sculpt. Again, the more I look at it, the more I feel like it's the likeness just isn't there. But it's still it's still an awesome piece. There are some places on mine too where the um, the weathering or the paint's kind of coming off on some high points, which is a little disappointing, like right back here. Um, that probably just comes down to them in the factory not laying down a soft mat or something when they're setting these guys on the table when they're painting them. Let's take a up close look at the other sculpts. This head sculpt I like more, and I think it's probably going to be the one I go with. And uh, I actually like him holding the hand like this. Here's an up-close shot of the relaxed arm. Which actually, that looks good too. 
There's a lot of uh, options here, which I really, really enjoy. And here is an up close shot of the arm holding the balloon. Again, I like this too. The only problem with this one is, is that the balloon, at least my balloon, is up, is like resting up against the hair. It would be nice if it was kind of like out on its own, but anyway. So final thoughts on this would be that uh, it's a great piece. Iron Studios is known for doing great work. I had their Vader and it was awesome. And, uh, and my only complaint would be that I just wish it was a little bit larger. Uh, but I get that they're doing this horror line in 10 scale and that's cool. And I am really excited to get more of this uh, horror series that they've got going on. Cause this is, this is pretty awesome. I wish the likeness was a little bit closer, but uh, I mean, you look at it and you immediately know that it's Pennywise. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend this piece. Uh, if you haven't ordered it yet, uh, definitely jump on it for sure. And uh, what I'll do at the end of this video is I'll leave you with some rotation shots of the different swap outs. And uh, feel free to leave any comments or questions. And uh, also feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications on new videos. And I'll see you guys later.